What's going on guys? Today I have a few secret spots to show you on the map underpass in Modern Warfare 3, including the main one of how to get on top of the building and the pillars here. So first up, you're going to need a deployable shield, in which you're going to place right next to the wall right about here. Once you have the shield down, you're able to jump on top of the shield, onto the white power box, and onto this wall right here. The next step when you get up here is going to be to jump over to the catwalk, jump on top of the railing of the catwalk. Next, hop on over to the vent, stick it out of the wall, and then onto the corner of the roof right about here. Once you're up here, you're actually able to strafe jump up onto the next rooftop layer. And it's going to look something like this. For the next step, you're going to jump from this rooftop over to the rooftop of the adjacent building right to the lower corner, right about there. Once you get up onto the rooftop here on the adjacent building, you're actually going to have to back up out of the combat area and jump across to the roof that you were just on, but on the higher side. If at any point this is actually too difficult, instead of jumping from the rooftop to the rooftop and then back to this rooftop, you can actually just wait for another deployable cover and place that down and use that to jump up from each layer of the roof to the next layer. So now that you're up on top of the rooftop, you actually have a vantage point of the majority of the map in play. But it doesn't stop there. You can actually get onto the pillars right here using an invisible wall. So if you walk out here, you're actually going to be floating, and you can reuse this whole rooftop and be pretty much floating around up top here. You could run around as much as you want, just do not step over the edges because that's where the invisible wall stops. So next up, you're going to want to come over here towards the pillars, and you're actually going to come over to the edge of the roof as close as you can without going over. Next, you're going to place down a shield. Yep, that's a shield. Now that you have your shield down, you're going to carefully jump on top of it without vaulting over. And from here, all you're going to do is make a quick, easy jump to the platforms on the pillars. And just like that, now you're up here on top of the pillars. And now that you're up here, feel free to move around and experiment with what you can do and where you can go, but be very careful not to fall off. So now I'm going to get into the more of the obvious spots that you may or may not know about. Most people know that you can actually come over here and get on top of this little shack. But did you know that you can access the second floor of this building? And if you don't want to expose yourself by getting on top of this building, you're actually able to use the refrigerator right here to jump up and access the same floor. Now this is of course a very obvious spot and many people are going to look up here, but if you're not paying attention you might not realize that you can actually get over to this building right here on the left. And just like that you have a more cheeky spot that many people are actually not going to be looking at. Now next up, some of the newer people might not realize that you're actually able to get onto the building in the center of the map through a few different locations.
And obviously here's a ladder. Next up, if you're not paying attention, you might not realize that there's actually a room below the center building that you can actually access as well. If you ever having trouble getting into this room right here because of enemy fire, you're able to use these boxes to get up on the awning right next to it and access the second floor. Next up in the building that we were jumping on top of earlier, you're actually able to access the catwalk right over here. And finally, super obvious but super exposed, you're able to get onto this awning right here and overlook the center of the map as well. And that pretty much wraps up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. If there's anything that I missed, please leave a comment down below and let me know. If you enjoy these videos and you want more, please leave a like or a comment and I will make sure to upload more in the future. Once again, I want to thank you all for watching and take it easy.